Unit Ten. Ong San Suu Kyi's shocking response to violence in Myanmar, January sixteenth. Violence broke out in Myanmar between the nation's army and a group of militants in 2017. As a result of the fighting, over 600,000 Rohingya, an ethnic minority in Myanmar, have been forced to flee to Bangladesh. Several refugees claimed that they had been shot at by Myanmar's soldiers as they tried to escape. Soldiers have also burned down over 250 villages so far during the conflict. In response. The UN and other international organizations have condemned the soldiers' aggressive attacks. It was expected that human rights champion and Nobel Peace Prize winner Aung San Suu Kyi, Myanmar's de facto leader, would do the same. However, in recent speeches, she has refused to place any blame on her government. The Rohingya refugee crisis has long been a thorny issue in Myanmar. While the ancestors of the Rohingya people came to Myanmar generations ago, they are viewed as illegal immigrants. Besides, since the Rohingya are Muslim, there are religious tensions between this group and most nationals in the predominantly Buddhist country. Aung San Suu Kyi's response has disappointed those who hoped to see her speak out strongly against the military's inhumane actions. Instead. She questioned the neutrality of news reports and suggested that the refugees are partly responsible for the violence against them. In addition, she boldly claimed the Rohingya have equal access to healthcare and schooling, although this is clearly not the case. In 1982, the government passed a law that denied Rohingya citizenship in their own country, preventing them from accessing these public services. Despite heavy criticism, Aung San Suu Kyi has remained firm in her stance, remarking that her government doesn't fear international scrutiny. Her statements have led many to reevaluate her reputation for being a kind and compassionate leader, and question her ability to govern her nation.